So somebody left a comment a little bit ago asking how that Plasti Dip has held up on the rails and the rear bumper that I painted. So it's been since December of 2023 since I coated the roof rails and the rear bumper with Plasti Dip. And overall, I'd say it's really held up pretty well. It's been, let's see, well, over the last winter and then all summer long. I parked the vehicle outside so it stays in the UV and the blazing sun all the time. And so that'll give you a good idea of how well the Plasti Dip has held up in the sun. So let's go take a look at it. So these were coated with Plasti Dip and you can see that there's a few little nicks right here. And that's mostly because I was working on putting this in and kind of going in and out of this Pelican rooftop carrier. And so this gets nicked up just a little bit, but you can see everything else has really maintained its integrity. This is just dirt, but you can see there's no, there's really no peeling, just a little nick right there. Now, an easy way to repair this is basically just taking a piece of cardboard right here, a piece of cardboard right here, and then just a, just a little touch up right there and that'll cover that right up. Um, so super easy to just touch up little nicks and scratches here and there. So overall, I'm really impressed with this Plasti Dip. Let's go take a look at the other rail and the rear bumper. All right, here's the other roof rail and you can see that has held up pretty nice. So I like that. Just as a, a little add on, these cross rails, I've been using these pretty well and they have held up real nice also. You can see they are adjustable pretty easy. You can unscrew these and slide them back and forth and I've used it to attach the Pelican rooftop carrier. If you take this out, there's a T-slot there. Also, it's kind of that arrow shape, so you're not gonna get a bunch of wind noise at all. But Plasti Dip has worked out really well right there. So the rear bumper has held up quite a bit uh, also. Now, I haven't really like <laughs> scraped it, nicked it up or anything like that really, but, um, but it's been outside, it's been in the sun, and it's been on plenty of gravel roads, things like that, so you can see it's really not dinged up at all. There's this little scratch right across the edge right there, but um, but that's held up really, really nice. So Plasti Dip is, Plasti Dip is overall really a good, easy, affordable thing. And you can also just touch it up really easily too. So again, if you want to touch up this spot, just put some blue tape there, piece of cardboard, piece of cardboard, and just touch up that and it's no problem. The thing with Plasti Dip is that you do need to put several coats on. I think this is like three or four coats to make it a good, good solid coat. Um, and surface prep is key, so make sure that the, uh, the plastic is clean of uh, dirt and grime, dust, and that kind of thing. So you make sure you have a good adhesion with Plasti Dip. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it, subscribe, leave a comment below if you have any comments. and. Uh, Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.